Hey, what's up, you guys? We're gonna go through a 18-minute inner and outer thigh. You guys ready? Let's get into it. We're gonna start on this side. You're gonna go into a fire hydrant. So you're gonna lift that knee up and bring it in. The knee is the driver here. Bring that knee up and bring it in. In five, you're gonna straighten that leg. In one, right here, you're gonna lift that leg up. It goes up, up, up. Nice and controlled here. Good work. Take that leg up for 10. In five, in two, in one. Go ahead and take it to your side. We're gonna go down onto our forearm. You're gonna go into open clams. So you're gonna open it up. Those knees are both gonna lift off the floor. You're gonna open and close. Option to bring that leg down and take that clam here. Option to raise and bring it up. I'm gonna bring that knee down and just hold it here. Good, we're using this inner thigh to open it up. That outer thigh is gonna also be working and we control it down. Keep it up right here. 15 seconds. Also that calf is working in eight, in five. We're gonna go to the other side in one. Nice work. So we're gonna take it to the other side. You're gonna go into that fire hydrant with that extended leg. Here we go, in two, in one. We take it up and down. Try and resist it down instead of just letting it flow down. We're resisting and bringing it in. In 10, you're gonna extend that leg. In three, two, in one, right here, that leg goes up, control it down. Up, control it down. Good, making sure you're balanced in both of those palms, you're not leaning on one side. In eight, in six, Last two, and one. Ooh, shake it off. We're gonna clam it up on the other side. I feel like it's easier to stay on that hip when that knee is down. So I'm gonna keep my leg down. We're gonna open it up and bring it in. Here we go. Open and take it down. Good, the higher your knee goes, the more you're gonna feel it in that inner thigh. Good, option to come down to that forearm. Really bring that knee up and control it down. You got 20 seconds right here. I love when I feel my legs start to shake. It's like new little muscles that are getting to work. In 10. In five. Last two. And one, nice work. Okay, so next we're gonna go into our ballet crosses. You're gonna bring those legs up. You're gonna cross, cross, and give me that opener and bring it right back up. Here we go. Cross, cross, open, control and resist those legs up at the top. Cross, cross, and open. Good. If you're flexible, you can let those legs really drop and then bring them up. Good, strong legs really feel like they're so, so long. They're reaching towards the ceiling and bring them back down. In eight. In five. Last one, so good. 
We're gonna go into a glute bridge, but instead of it on our heels, we're gonna activate that inner thigh by going on our toes and those heels are close to our booty. So you're gonna bring it up, give me a nice open clam at the top and bring it back down. Here we go. Again, being on those toes are gonna activate the inner thighs. You don't need to overextend that pelvis. Keep it nice and tight. That core is in a straight line. Beautiful. Halfway. We're working those little itty bitty muscles and those inner and outer thighs. Press through those toes. Good. In seven. In two, in one. Nice work, let's go back into that fire hydrant. And then we'll go into those leg kicks. Round two, right here. We take it up and control it down. That knee is the driver, take it high. Maybe have a slight pause at the top and bring it down. Beautiful. In five, we're gonna switch it to our kicks. In one right here, bring it up, kick it out and drop. Take it up. Drop, take it up. Make sure you're putting weight into that opposite hand. In five, control it up in three, two, and one. We're gonna go into our clams. We're gonna take it down to that forearm. We're gonna open it up. In three, two, right here we go. Open, take it down. Really push this knee up and then drive it back down. Good, make sure you're sitting on the side, you're not leaning back. Good. Halfway. See that inner and outer thigh working at the top? Bring it nice and controlled down. 15 seconds. Last 10 right here. Then we're gonna switch to the other side. Make it count in two, in one. Ooh. All right, let's go into the other side into our fire hydrant with our leg kicks. Here we go, in two, in one. Bring it up, control it down. Bring it up, control it down. Good, think about the inner thigh while you're doing the movement. It's gonna really, really make you feel the burn a little bit more. Halfway right here, the leg extends. We take it down and up. Down and up. Good. Have that leg shake in 10. In six, control it down in three, two, and one. We're gonna go into our clams. Round two, here we come. I'm gonna go down to that forearm, option to stay on that hand. We're gonna bring it up, opening up those legs, and control it down. Good work. Option here to also use a band You'll feel it more in that booty if you do. Halfway, overextend that leg, that knee goes to the ceiling and control it down. In 15, right here. Last five. 
and one. So good. Take it to your back. We're going to go into our crosses at the top and then open those legs and take it down. Here we go. Cross, cross, open up those legs and control it in. Scoot over, here we go. Cross, cross, bring it down, control it up. Good, pressing that back into the mat as well. Beautiful. Halfway right here. Good, using that resistance, control those legs up. Cross it out, those legs are long for 10. Eight. Last two, and one. Here we go, we're gonna go into our glute bridge. Remember, we're gonna be on those toes, and then you're gonna give me that nice clam at the top. So on those toes, you take it up in two, in one, we go up, open, control it down. Staying on those toes. Thirty seconds right here, and you guys are finishing round two. Good. Think about those inner thighs resisting in, pressing through those toes. Make sure those feet are close enough to the booty to really feel it in those inner and outer thighs. Good, last 10. In six. Last one right here, and drop. All right, you guys, let's go into our last round. We'll start with that fire hydrant for our last time. Make it your best one yet. In three, two, Right here, open and take it down. Good work. That knee is the driver. And down. Good, in three, we extend that leg in one. Right here, extend that leg out and tap. Make it your best one, tap it up. Good, resist it down. Last time of these, in 10, long leg, in eight. In four, three, two, and one. Let's go into our clams. Option to stay on that hand or drop it to the forearm. We are going to open it up right here in two, in one, take it open and close. Open, close. Good, it's all about those little movements that are really great for those inner and outer thighs. Nice and controlled, having that resistance. Halfway. Beautiful. Can you push that knee back a little bit farther in 15, right here. Last seven. Finish it off in three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Again, moving on to that fire hydrant, and then we will extend that leg for the last time. You still with me? Here we go, in two. In one, take it up and down. Up and down, nice work. Controlling that leg, that core is in tight. In five, we extend that leg. In two, in one, right here, extend and tap. Try not to let that leg rest too long at the bottom. Good, 15 seconds. It's okay if the leg doesn't go too high. You got 10. Come on, last eight. Don't stop moving in three, 
two, and one. Let's go into our clams. And we are almost there, guys. You're doing awesome. In three, two, open it up. We go open, take it down. Good, picture your breath going out to that whole body, really focusing on that inner thigh. Breathe halfway. Ooh, I got a little shake at the top, I like it. 20 seconds right here. Last 10, breathe. We're gonna take it to our back in five. In two. In one. Here we go, we're gonna go into our scissor kicks. The two at the top, cross, cross, and then we will open it up. And then open. In one, here we go, we go cross, cross. Give me that opener and control and resist on the way up. Last time of these. Good, press that back into the mat. Halfway right here. Cross, strong cross. See if those legs can feel even stronger, like they're shooting to the ceiling. Open it up. In 10. Last five right here. In three, two, and one. Here we go, we're finishing it off with our glute bridge on our toes. Make sure those toes are closer to our booty and then we're gonna clam it at the top. In three, two, here we go. We go up, open, take it down. Up, open, take it down. Last exercise right here. Good, really have that control open, resist it in and control it down. Light tap. We're not resting at the bottom. Finish it off right here, almost there. Great work. Pressing through those toes. And down. Woo. Awesome, awesome job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this inner and outer thigh workout, and I will see you guys next time.